Hi guys, let me show you guys how this was made from the beginning to the end. Alright, I have so many things that I want to show you guys on this video. How I cut out the pattern and also produce this so you can see the sew is different from the normal foreign sew. I constructed it like like baking stock. You understand? So as you're watching the video, please like. Alright, like and share also share and subscribe and turn on the notification bell at your side okay let's go so normally just like the previous video i dropped i start with my soul all right so the last one i dropped is like this when I started with the sew, okay, so this is the way I started it. But on this video, we will not you understand just cut and leave it like this. We are going to add something on it to be different. So that's why I'm showing you guys a different way to get different different sews. Just watch this one right now. You see the way it is, it's different from the previous video I dropped. This one has inner, it's like bent, like baking stock in our you understand. So right now, this is what we are cutting. Okay, we'll cut Marco as he wet. Okay, please guys, don't skip this video. I want to show you guys something. So you cut Marco as he wet. All right. After you've cut it out, then you rub it gum. Then you start all right wetting it around okay now you cut the inner just watch the way I'm doing it the way my hand is I'm not cutting it from the under I'm cutting it from the side so that we can get the inner you understand you can see it's bent okay it's bent it's bent you can see what I'm doing you bend your hand inside from the side you can see it very closely you can see where I'm cutting from okay then after which we are going to file what do I'm filing it I bend my hand because if you stretch your hand you're going to file everything away you understand you bend your hand so that the inner will come out that is the we can get you know we want the baby to go down like baking stock that is a Moses so so we call it baking stock you understand so right now we're done filing then now let's rub our gum okay to double it okay so we're going to rub gum on where my hand is so I'm just using this one to draw the both leg you know it's the same front and back all right so now just watch guys
so please watch the one folding it okay make sure there's no line if there's line mm, you've spoiled you've spoiled the work make sure there's no line there might be line at the under where nobody will see you can see the one drawing it you understand make sure that every you can see everywhere is smooth if i will not start folding it directly you can see where it's smooth like real so then i'll not start folding okay okay So you can see what I'm talking about. You see how sweet it is. Okay, so now let's uh, I think let's jump into the pattern fully. So let me show you how I designed this. <laughs> so now yeah. this measurement I'm using a uh, 13. And I mean that's a uh, yeah 13. But this one is 4 cm. That is this one right now. It's 4 cm. Then the long side. I used 15, 16, 17, depends on the size you want to do. But you use your last to check it. That's why I normally use my last always. Understand? But the from there to there is 4. You understand? I showed you guys already, you saw it. So it shouldn't be fatter than that 4 cm. Alright, so right now I'm just marking where I'm going to design. So just watch guys what I did it's closely. So you understand so right now we are going to use all the pattern we cut out to mark on the leather we need so right now the back side is what we're marking still going to use it for the front side as well So guys, I doubled the leather to make it more stronger than this before, okay? So that's why it's like this. You can see I doubled it. So I'm, I'm cutting it out now, right now. So what I want to do right now is to mark out where I'm going to punch, you know, on the thumbnail that like you saw the picture there, the leather went through in stand, it went through inside the, the, the other leather. So I'm marking where I'm going to punch. That's what I'm doing. That's how you get everything accurately. You see, there will be no space and no hole because you are marking it accurately. I'm going to punch it accurately. So just watch, guys. You see, I'm done punching. All right, I'm going to use the one I punched. To get the other one like this okay so you get more you know you don't stress yourself you just easy work like that
so we are done so we're going to scratch the under so we've already scratched it so let's rub gum and last it so you guys see how beautiful it comes out So we are done lasting. Alright, so let's scratch the back. And if you don't have five machine, you can use scissors to scratch it, sapipa or knife or anything that you can know you make it rough, alright? So guys, I always remember what I told you on foreign so rub only the middle, don't rub the side. Let the gum not go to the side. Alright, let the gum not go to the side. Rub only on the foreign so middle, just the middle. Okay, so this is it. That middle now will not go with your glue, your power glue gum. That's what we're going to put in the mid, the side. I told you before that I normally put gum everywhere, but I later discovered that. Each time I do that, it pulls out. Okay, each time I do that, it pulls out. So that's why I, I discovered this new style. Today I did this stuff, man. It did not. <laughs> I, I made mistake. I tried to remove it. It refused. Like it's very strong. So I'm recommending you guys to do it also. Okay. You might be wondering why is my own pulling, pulling in every day. That's because you are rubbing gum there. Okay. So right now, guys, <clears throat> you can see what I'm doing. So guys, just as you're watching the video, subscribe, just click the subscription button there and the notification bell and like and share, alright? And go to the link, you'll see my Instagram link, follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well. Let's do this together continuously. Thank you.